Hi everyone, my name is Harjot and welcome to For the Love of Gadgets. What if you buy a phone that too worth $1600 or maybe more and you get to know that there is a bad news? Well, when I heard that, I was shocked. That happened when I saw the video made by Mr. Who's the Boss in which he compared the S21 Ultra Exynos version versus the Snapdragon version and he categorically mentioned that for the Exynos users or for the Exynos variant, there is a bad news. Now being a tech enthusiast, a YouTuber and personally owning S21 Ultra, I watched that video multiple times and made some observations which made me reach to a conclusion that I have a difference of opinion Mr. Who's the Boss and is really there a bad news? Let's find out in this video. As I mentioned that I have the S21 Ultra Exynos version. This is a purchase unit. It's not a review unit. I've spent my own money buying this and I tried almost every test that he did except a few which I'll tell you later. Now few things I want to call out before we move ahead. Number one, Samsung, please stick to one processor either Snapdragon or Exynos and if you want to go ahead like this only where in some countries you give the Exynos and in some Snapdragon, make sure that the difference is around 3% or minimum. Ideally, there should not be, but then yes, there would be some difference. It should not be more than 3% in any of the department, be it camera, be it battery drain, etc. Number two, the video is not to make anyone feel embarrassed or to take a dig on anyone. I'll be very honest, since I am doing a further review of Mr. Who's the Boss video, so there's nothing like that I want to make him feel embarrassed. But then I was surprised with the quality of the video, the articulation, the due diligence done and felt it was one sided. So let's get into the review and I just need one thing at this point of time from you is that do watch it till the end before you start spamming me with your comments. It's a humble, humble request. And if you think that my call outs are genuine, please do subscribe the channel. It would be phenomenal. Here we go. Snapshot one, the end to test begins at the same time for both the devices. And we see that the Snapdragon starts to lead. Now though the Snapdragon version wins, but the increase in temperature and battery drain was better in Exynos, which was never highlighted. That is 12.9 degree on the Exynos versus 15.2 on the Snapdragon. Similarly, the decrease in battery was 4% on Exynos and 5% on Snapdragon. Now these are important things. I think we should have given Exynos a pat on the back for the fact that the increase in the temperature and drain in battery was less. Up next is the 3D mark test and we saw that Mr. Who's the Boss unit scored 5303. We tried the same and while we did so we kept the motion smoothness as adaptive and brightness at 65%. We got 5668. In fact, if you would have seen our initial review we got it even higher there. It's time now for the GFX test. Please do observe what I'm about to tell you because here we were not able to reach a conclusion and I'll tell you why. As Mr. Who's the Boss starts the test, he clicks on select all but when the test was finished it was evident that there was some selection that was made this can be easily identified by looking at the low level test there is just one line item but if you see the test we did we had eight line items there because we did not make a selection you can try yourself that if you run this test you would get eight line items once again, I fail to understand that when it was select all options opted, when was the selection made and why? Having said that, 
will not be able to make apple to apple comparison because i'm really not sure what all options he unchecked so the test that we have we have shown you you can take the takeaway with the geekbench 5 test we were even more happy because our variant scored higher as compared to the exynos version which mr who's the boss had in both singer and multi core result Up next is the pass mark and AI test and in this my unit has beaten both the units Mr Who's the boss has used hands down let's have a look at this as well Now the only thing that I could not try was the PSP simulator since I did not have the files. However, I have an analysis for us ready which will tell you what all areas the Snapdragon excelled and which all areas the Exynos and thus basis this I have come to a conclusion. During the analysis we can see that yes the Snapdragon has been ahead but so was the Exynos. wherein the snapdragon was ahead by 9% in the n22 test the exynos was ahead by a whopping 33% in the ai test other tests that were done they were either ahead or trailing in some cases even by 3% or even less now if you ask me something like 3% is not such a big impact wherein you would say that there is a bad news so So far if you ask me is there a bad news I'm sorry to say that there is no bad news This section is all about the sustained performance Now we could have tried to make the video smaller but then we have kept this 1 hour long clip however we have speeded things up we did the n22 test not once not twice but six times and the analysis that i'll show you it will surprise you every time we check the temperature in each test now you can either watch this or you can straight away go to the analysis but the overall takeaway is that we were very very impressed and you will see yourself in the overall scores that we got so up to you if you want to watch the clip feel free else skip to the analysis section
now that we have finished the last test as well let's get into the analysis you can straight away see that we have six tests done and on the top you can see the headers like battery percentage at the start and at the end of the test the battery temperature cpu temperature at the start midway and end decrease in battery battery temperature at the end cpu temperature at the end and end to the score my unit followed by mr who's the boss unit exynos version obviously and the delta we can clearly see that my unit outperformed mr who's the boss unit the lowest score that he got was 475327 wherein i got the lowest score of 564433 so i'm not sure what went wrong hence i would like to say and most importantly ask you is there a bad news time to move to the camera section just one request watch the video in the best resolution and the observations that i'll share please do watch them in the mr who's the boss video as well because here we have pictures i'm not sure you will be able to pick it up or not though this is quad hd pic that i've captured but then if you see it in the video mr who's the boss has aired i think you'll be able to relate it even better so let's start with picture number 1 Picture number one. Let's start with the color of the grass, the blue pipe, the green pipe as well, the trees, the building. Now you tell me, is the difference worth stating? There is a bad news. I'll give this round to the Snapdragon because it has captured better dynamic range. So Snapdragon wins. Picture number two. The color of the jars is different in both the pictures, and so is the color of the text. Now what I found is the Exynos is capturing near no saturation picture. This is evident from the next pic. So to me these pictures are very similar. Nothing like there's a bad news. This is a picture I was talking about. This is something I've clicked and you can see it in our initial review. See the colors. There is no over saturation at all. This has come near natural. In the next picture the venation on the leaf that has been captured by the exynos is far more better clearly see the veins on the leaf however on the snapdragon the veins are not clearly visible and this is throughout the leaf hence if you ask me i'll rather pick the exynos version now guys this is once again a perspective as to how you can put things in but you tell me this is this do you really think there's a bad news if you still think though so, check this picture out now once again i found the pattern of the seat of the sofa better on the exynos as well as the gray color on the pillow but then it's your perspective what is that you want to capture similarly i would say there are areas wherein exynos is better there are areas in a similar picture snapdragon is better but then there is no bad news Moving to the low light performance in this picture look at the top bar on the wall it's either brown or maroon and i think the exynos is getting it brighter worth mentioning is the fact that why is the scene optimizer turned on and is it turned on the exynos version well i thought it would have been but then the next picture made it clear see it has not been turned on the exynos is that fair comparison should it not had been turned on the exynos as well i leave that as a question to you now base is this saying that the exynos version is not performing up to the mark and there is a bad news do you think it's right do comment and let me know now this is a big question was the scene optimizer turned on every time a picture clicked by snapdragon i really don't know and I think this is not the right way to do a comparison either it should have been turned on on both the phones or turned off on both the phones now the picture of the chandelier i don't see much of a difference they are at par with each other i leave it up to you if there is a bad news with the exynos in this picture moving to the next picture i will clearly give this win to the snapdragon because it's still detailed i think the exynos in this picture is very 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 soft in this picture which is a low light sample 
you can clearly see that the Snapdragon at the top right corner has a white balance issue and the frame of the door, the lines are not visible. Wherein in the Exynos, you can clearly see the lines are properly visible. I'm sure if you watch the actual video, you'll be even more surprised. These are the minute details that I believe in capturing and I don't think there's a bad news. So friends, time to conclude. What do you say of the observation? Do you agree or not? Would you like to say that for the Exynos version, there is a bad news? If no, please do comment and let us know what is that you like the video and the style we did. At the end, once again, there was no point in making someone feel embarrassed. It's just that I think that the video could have been articulated much better. I felt that it was one-sided and there could have been some more due diligence, probably some more models of Snapdragon and S21 Ultra could have been tried to reach to a conclusion. It could be the model that Mr. Who's the Boss might be using because as you saw, the scores that I got were way, way better, except the Enter 2. So I really don't know what happened, but then if you have liked our work and you really think that we have put in those efforts to give you the clarity, doing the justice to this platform, please, please, please do subscribe to the channel. In case you have any suggestion or any video you want me to make on the S21 Ultra, do let me know. I would love to do that. This side, Harjot. Take care. Once again, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for all. Stay safe. Peace.